All right, well, iTunes University version two is out, and we're gonna cover in the next series of videos some of the little changes that they've made. And it's not significant, but there's enough changes that I think you're really gonna benefit from it in your classroom. This video specifically is going to cover how to add discussion threads to your existing courses. So we're gonna look at that because that's one of the features you're gonna to wanna to turn on right away. So let's go ahead and look, and, and you'll see in this view I've got all of my courses listed, but now I have an option for my courses, and you'll also see that you're logged in right here up in the upper right-hand corner, and so you're starting to get a little more feedback there. So I'm gonna hit my courses. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of the courses out that I would like to work in and it's gonna go ahead and open it for me. Now when it opens this course, and it's important to note by the way, we are on the iPad doing this. So in the past, you had to use the computer to edit everything in your courses. We can now edit things in the iPad. So uh, that's a key point I forgot to mention right up front. Um, you got your info, you got your posts, you got notes, you got materials, and at the very, very bottom here, we have a new button called Admin. And admin is where we're gonna be able to do some of the settings that we had available to us in the desktop version, but now we're on the iPad. So, um, and they look very much alike. So if you're, you're following with me on this, you'll be able to do it on the desktop version. So we've got enrollment. This is where you can add and, and remove your students. I like this auto approve feature. I think you will too. It just allows you to uh, quickly accept responses. So if you push it out to your class, it'll just auto approve them. And then you could turn that off after that and you'd be good to go. Um, but we've got course settings, course image instructors and licensing. Let's go ahead and go to course settings. This is where all the good stuff is. This is where your name of your course is, the levels, all of those types of things. And at the very, very bottom there, there's a little uh, slider called discussions. And when we click discussions on, believe it or not, that's it, it's done. So let's go ahead and look at one of our posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a post and open it up. Now you'll see that we have a discussion thread at the bottom and we can hit start a discussion and now we can do a topic or a question and I'm just gonna put one in so you see what it looks like and I'm gonna hit send and there you go so now you have an instructor discussion that has been started when that discussion is clicked on replies can be given to it and um, there's it's just like so easy to just set up and just go with it and get great instant feedback from your students. So I think this will be the start of something great in your classroom. And hopefully that was the quick tip you needed to get your discussions added to your current and existing iTunes U courses.